Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you. So today I'm going to give um, a very short video lecture on uh, sulfonamide. Sulfonamides are actually a group of sulfur-based drugs um, or they can be called as sulfur, sulfur drugs. Yeah. So um, the first scientist that proposed um, the use of this magic bullet a particular drug or compound yeah that can target selectively target um, a particular area in the body and cure a disease is is uh, the scientist called Paul Ehrlich Paul Ehrlich is actually a, a medical doctor yeah a physician he loved playing about with dice and what he noticed is that Certain dyes would color, yeah, certain parts of a cell, yeah. So, um, and certain dyes would not color other parts of the cell. So, with this idea of dye, he was thinking that um, of a magic bullet. Certain compounds would target certain parts of a cell or certain tissues, but it wouldn't um, disrupt or uh, block other parts of the tissue or, or cells yeah so what so he came up with this concept of chemotherapy that means um, a chemical that selectively targets the invading microorganism without affecting the host without really uh, causing much of the side effects or adverse effects to the host, that is, to human or to animals, for example. Yeah? So uh, one of the first uh, drugs uh, would be the Salvast... One of the first drugs is actually Salvastin. And it is used, uh, as you can see that, it's actually made of this um, arsenic, if I'm mistaken. Yeah? Uh, and is being used as... A treatment against syphilis and sleeping sickness. Um, again, this is a this is aromatic based drug. Yeah, quite simple. Um, it's a dimer as well uh, of these hydrochloric salts. Let's come come to the convention. Um, so the old convention, you use sulfur. Uh, you spell sulfur with the uh, S U L P H U R. But now with the new one, you replace the P H with F. The same goes for sulfonamide. Sulfonamide is actually a drug, yeah, uh, in the family of the sulfonamides. All right. So again, um, you can use the new convention, which is the uh, using the F to replace the pH. Let's take a look at the history of um, sulfonamides. Yeah, uh, sulfonamides um, actually um, discovered by. Um, a scientist called Dogmark. He discovered the the pro drug of sulfonamide. Yeah, what he found was that he found a red dry a red dye, prontosil, that can cure yeah um, a mi mice infected with uh, streptococcus. All right, so he did a further study, and he found if you see at the bottom here, actually, prontosil is a pro drug, is an aza drug so in vitro it doesn't cause anything it's totally um, no effect no biological effects yeah however when uh, prontosil is fed or is given to to infected mice um, the this other bond yeah is broken in the intestine all right and that gives um, sulfonamide yeah so the sulfonamide is the active ingredient in in the um, uh, in in curing an infection. Yeah, sulfonamide is the first effective antibacterial agent, and it serves for as the bleed molecule for other sulfonamides. Yeah, so, so let's take a look at the um, bacterial tetrahydrofolate synthesis. Yeah, um, bacterial human also um, as well cannot produce folic acid. We have to take it in our diet. Yeah? 
So in in um, in uh, bacterial tetrahydrofolic pathway, yeah, actually, at the end of the day, ultimately they want to form the DNA ba DNA bases. So to form the DNA bases, um, in this case is actually um, thymidine and uridine. Yeah, it started off with um, the um, pteridine. So these two are the substrates for the dehydroptroic synthase. All right. And at the same time, this enzyme, yeah, I would call from here is DHS, for example. So DHS is where the, uh, the it becomes the target protein for uh, sulfonamides. Sulfonamides will competitively um, uh, inhibit uh, DHS, yeah, and uh, it will compete with this uh, PABA, the para amino benzoic acid, yeah. Um, usually in bacteria as well, uh, if uh, they know that the sulfonamides is around, yeah, what is that is that they when they sense this uh, the, 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 this chemical sulfonamides around, yeah, they would also they would they would produce more para amino benzoic acid. So as you know as well, in the, when the concentration of the um, substance is getting higher or higher than the uh, inhibitor. Since they are competing for the same target molecules, that uh, or is competing for the same target uh, site, the the one that has a higher comp uh, concentration would then you know um, in a sense win. Yeah. So um, um, so then once this um, uh, dihydroptrate um, is formed, it will combine with l glutamic acid to form this dihydrofolate. And then uh, will be catalyzed by this dihydrofolate, will be catalyzed further by this dihydrofolate reductase yeah, uh, to form this tetrahydrofolate. Yeah. This dihydrofolate reductase uh, is further inhibited by uh, trimethoprim, which we'll see later. Yeah. Um, and then once you form this tetrahydrofolate, it will be the building block for the DNA, the bacterial DNA. Sulfonamide will effectively inhibit this uh, part, this step yeah, of the bacterial tetrahydrofolate uh, biosynthesis. When, when we talk about medicinal chemistry, we also talk about structures. Yeah? So now let's go into the structures of um, PABA and also sulfonamide, sulfonamide, yeah? If you can see that, they are, they are like, they are like twins, yeah? Except for, in here, in PABA, there's a carbon, and in, whereas in uh, sulfonamide, there's, uh, the carbon is replaced by a uh, sulfur, and there's an additional carbonyl group, and instead of the uh, OH, in PABA is replaced with an NH2. Okay, so let's see how they bind then. They so pretty much they, they would actually bind um, similarly to the enzyme, yeah, um, DHS. Yeah, so in this case, you can see that the um, they are pretty much pretty much the same, very similar, yeah, very similar in terms of the uh, interaction with the DHS, all right? So the amino group will um, interact with active site through hydrogen bonding, and also this aromatic ring with, uh, via Van der Waals. And then that um, sulfur group is more like a, uh, like a template that holds the, the, the further interaction. So in this case, um, the ionic bond is retained between the two, and that extra, that NH2 will provide the NH, this NH2, for example, in sulfonamide, yeah, will provide uh, more um, functionality to the to the molecule. Yeah? Uh, so, so let's have a look at the SAR of sulfonamides. Yeah. So the essential structure features of uh, sulfonamides would be um, firstly. You see, uh, this part of molecule is important, yeah. 
So the retain the sulfonamide uh, group, the benzene should be para substituted. Yeah, this should be para substituted, and the, the um, uh, this product molecule, yeah, the R one, uh, is is usually modified to uh, heterocycles, for example, yeah, um, and then uh, the amino group here usually are written as primary or secondary. A primary, for example, in uh, sulfonamide. Uh, secondary, for example, you have this R substituted uh, position. Yeah, so um, if you change this amino group to a tertiary or quaternary, uh, it wouldn't be as effective. All right, as as a drug. Let's have a look. What are other, what are the, the R modification? So uh, some example here would be in uh, sulfadiazine, sulfur uh, dimidine, sulfur methoxazine. Yeah. So these are cycles. What happens is that it will actually give a broader antibacterial uh, activities. Uh, they also improve uh, the solubility of the drugs, for example, therefore leading to better absorption. And um, the things that uh, these could also, uh, because of, remember again, this ion interaction and so on, yeah, it could also bind strongly to plasma protein. So sulfonamide usually are... Um, um, this result in the slow excretion of the, the drugs. Yeah? There's some problems with sulfonamides. For example, um, the sulfatizole. Yeah? The sulfatizole uh, ring, um, what happens is that this part of the molecule is easily and acylated in the body of, of patients. Yeah? So um, the older sulfur drugs would tend for for patients patients would tend to get um uh these deposits um uh, of sulfur drugs um in in the kidney so they usually they were asked to drink a lot of water to to flush out those uh those drugs yeah um eventually if if you know if for elderly patients, they might also have kidney problems. Um, for uh, this, having these sulfur drugs to treat their infection, then it would cause further problems because the sulfur drugs could block the kidney tubules. So, um, to reduce the toxicity, yeah, the possible toxicity caused by this this older sulfur drugs, uh, one way to do that is to replace this tizer ring with Pyrimidine ring. Yeah. So pyrimidine ha is more electron withdrawing, so it can actually pull the electron towards itself. What happens is that the nucleophilicity of this part of the molecule are getting less. Therefore, the N acetylation yeah, uh, couldn't really happen. The N acetylation couldn't really happen. Therefore, most of these are ionized. Is, uh, usually they are in, uh, in the so they are more in the ionized form. They are more soluble. So let's just recap on the uh, bacteria, bacterial uh, tetrahydrofolic pathway. So sulfonamide acts on the DHS uh, step, yeah, whereby it will compete. It will compete with the uh, with para, yeah. Um, so the second part of the uh, inhibition comes in by is acted by the second part of the inhibition is acted by trimetoprim on the um, dihydrofolate productase. Yeah. So if if so imagine now if you have two drugs acting together on the same biosynthesis pathway, then it'll make you know it'll make the infection will make the It'll make it more effective, yeah, as a drug. So effectively, when you have two drugs acting on the same pathway, um, eventually the bacteria the bacteria wouldn't be able to produce um, DNA, and slowly it will actually die. So um, in the market, both trimetoprim and also uh, sulfonamides are given together. So one example uh, is called uh, co-treatment zone. Yeah? 
So this is a combination of trimethoprine with sulfa is sulfa methoxazole. Yeah. So this is a combination of trimethoprine with sulfa methoxazole. So um, you know, it is thought that they have a synergistic effect in terms of blocking the the same biopathway, the biosynthesis biosynthesis pathway. Uh, and also, it, is, it exploits the subtle differences in bacteria and also mammalian cells. Yeah? So, the, 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 the brand name is Spectrum, and it's a mixture of trimethoprim uh, and sulfur mesosazole from, uh, with a ratio of 1 to 5. Yeah? Last but not least, uh, remember that um, sulfonomides or sulfur drugs falls under the category of uh, bacteriostatic uh, agent. That means it will stop the growth of bacteria, but does not actively kill the cell. All right. What what kills the cells is the reduction when they actually in uh, inhibit the biosynthetic pathway. They would actually uh, cause the reduction of um, the DNA production. Therefore, that will lead to the cells from uh, you know from growing and dividing and so on yeah um, but so when when the uh, bacteria growth stop the host defense system will then wipe up the the invader the bacteria yeah